So here's the laid bed pattern that I just cast. When I poured it out, I kind of uh, seemed like it wasn't taking as much metal as I thought I could pour, and it kind of skimmed off the top, so I didn't think it was going to come out all right. But it looks really good. Um, I made a few modifications, uh, three inches wide instead of two at the top, um, and I changed around the bottom webbing a little bit. But anyways, the casting came out really good, very smooth. Um, definitely psyched about my new molding sand that I put together. It's a uh, hundred, one hundred olivine and uh, southern bentonite. Um, anyways, a little issue here, but since there's supposed to only be 75% contact with the with the waves, I think I should be okay with that. Maybe I could fill it in with some JB weld or whatever. Instead of uh, worrying about sawing off the sprue from the top, I gated in from the side, and that seemed to work out really well. And I know some people had mentioned that um, there's some flex when wrapping the uh, the dowel to get the uh, the pin out, so I don't have to worry about that. Bottom looks pretty good. Um, I don't see any voids really that I can tell, so that looks really good. Um, this will be for the headstock. I made the uh, headstock foot twice as big as the tailstock foot um, to match the actual headstock as was suggested by some people online. Um, so basically it's very similar to um, to what uh, Gingery had in terms of size. I tried half an inch for everything but uh, I didn't have enough metal in the pot. I only have a 1.5 quart uh, cast iron pot so it worked out really well for this. So I'm, uh, I'm psyched. I just poured uh, the headstock and footing and uh, I'll be opening that up soon. So here's the uh, shake out of the headstock footing for the lathe bed. As you can see there's like a huge thing on the top here. I was like finishing the pour and uh, that big chunk of stuff just came out of the bottom of the crucible. So it's probably just slag or dross or something. I don't know. It seems really, it uh, wasn't very fluid. It just kind of plopped out. I don't know why it was just sitting at the bottom there. Maybe I need a flux or something. But anyways, this came out really well, as you can see. Um, pretty much matches the pattern. And uh, you can definitely see some of the pattern defects a lot better when it's in metal, I guess. But uh, overall, it looks really good. Um, just cut that off, and I should be good to go. And, uh, and I'll just have to do the tailstock footing. And... Um, I'll have the whole lathe bed pretty much all set, and I can get into scraping and uh, try and cast some other parts for the lathe. So, anyways, good deal.